So this is the Nikon FM2N and I wanted to give you some pro tips on how to get images as good if not better than this for £15. So I see a lot of people online asking about how to get into film photography and what cameras would people recommend. A lot of people tend to recommend things like this which is the Canon AE-1 or the Canon AE-1 program but something like this is going to cost you between 100 and 130 pounds but with my top tip today you can get just as good images for 15 pounds or less so which one should we start with let's start with the most expensive 15 pounds one of my pro tips whenever you go out whether you go into car boots charity shops goodwills is don't forget the low hanging fruit and the reason I say this is because sometimes on cameras of a lesser quality or people lesser brand name should I say you can get some pretty sweet deals and one thing that people won't tell you about in the film world is that as all a camera is is a light box to allow light onto the film it's the lens in the film that actually makes the difference take this this is a Practica MTL5. This one cost me £15. There's nothing wrong with it, but when you look closely at things, this one has a 1.4 Super Takuma. So as soon as I spotted that, I kind of had to have it. <laughs> For £15, that is a steal. It's not very often you find a 1.4 lens of that quality for that price. So that would rival the Nikon FM2N in quality for a lot less money. Next charity shop find, all of three pounds, and this is the Pentax ME Super. As I say, this one cost me three pounds, but on closer inspection, but it has an f1.4 lens. So again, this is a camera that people wouldn't necessarily recommend, but for three pounds, with an f1.4 lens, yes please. So my next bargain hunt cost five pounds. You can probably pick these up between five and 15 pounds, but this is the Canon EOS 600. There is a few uh, different versions of this in the line, but the good thing about this is I shoot Canon digital. So this is a 24 to 70 2.8 Mark II, which costs 1500 pounds mount to this and you have yourself a very sharp camera that will actually take better pictures than the FM2N for five pounds. <laughs> so yeah, more cameras that get overlooked depending on the brand of um, camera you shoot and if you have lenses like the uh, 2470 or things like this, which is the EOS 300 and the Nikon version, which is the F55. These things cost five pounds. This one, I don't know if you can actually see, but this one cost $1.99. Again, this will take the EF lenses, and for $1.99, this can produce as good, if not better images than the Nikon FM2, costing between two to 300 pounds. So yeah, quick short video, just to give you my pro top tip, and that is to not miss the low hanging fruit. Some of these obscure brand names, like the Practica, are great cameras and sometimes you never know what you're going to find on the front. <laughs> Next time you're out at the uh, car boots and charity shops have a look out for these things. You never know what you find. Some photographers collected these cameras and invested in the lenses because they did know that that is what makes the image. So yeah, happy hunting and I'll see you again soon.